Hey, Lab Code agents, it's Tristan and Nick, and we've Woo! got an amazing guest today. We've got Gail Zentech with us out of Michigan, and she's been in the business for about 12 years and has been using send out cards to crush it for about eight and a half. Uh, Gail, we want to say hello. Hey, everybody. Good to be here today. Looking and forward to sharing. And What's up, Gail? <laughs> Perfect. So I'm ready. To, I'm ready to learn from the best of the best right now. I'm I'm ready to just absorb. I've got my pencil, uh, actually my pen, and a pad here. So Gail, you want to get started and tell us a little bit about yourself and why you decided to start with send out cards and how that changed your business first. All right. Well, I've my husband and I became realtors. I Myself in 2004, Steve joined me in the business two years later, and um, about 2007 is when we were looking for a contact manager that would work for our business. You know, three years into the business, we had a stack of closed files, and we really didn't have any way to communicate with our clients. Um, and then I got a card in the mail, and I'm going to share that story through the PowerPoint that I presented that I've got here for us today and you know we've we've blown our business to 98 percent referral it's really nice I'm away for the weekend uh, business gets taken care of but we you know we're living life every day and enjoying being realtors as well as having a life outside of that wonderful alright so if you, you want to be a realtor then I'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to bring up the PowerPoint. I'm going to go through that. I'm going to give you some really great examples of how you can use this service to enhance your business, to build relationships, and take your business to the next level. Can I just say one thing real quick? Oh, sure. So uh, I just want to show everyone what I got in the mail today from Gail. Can you guys see this? Nice. That's the big card. Yes, this is a big card. And pay no attention to that big nose right above it. But this big card, right? And it's a house anniversary. So I guess your clients bought this house a year ago or two years ago or whatever it was. And then you open it up, and it's like this giant looking <laughs> calendar thing. I think it's just so gorgeous and amazing. Obviously, it's made out to me. It's not my house, I hope. <laughs> no, that's. We'll talk about how you can personalize these yeah. cards. So. And then this one's super cool, too. I want to get everyone's taste buds wet. Look at that. <laughs> like, all the houses you sold. Okay, thanking all your clients. All right, let's do it. All right. Let's get it. into All right, we'll get into this. All right. Okay. Well, I am going to be the first one to tell you up front that there's probably as many tools, tips, and marketing ideas as there are licensed agents in our industry. Hey, Gail. <laughs> yes. I just want to say my wife just texted me. She just got that card you made of my son. <laughs> I tell you, it's magic. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. And it's weird that it just came just now as we're doing this webinar. Awesome, awesome. Perfect timing. I tell you, you got to act on your promptings. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. So today I'm going to share with you the system that we've been using since 2007. And, and the mission that Steve and I have for our real estate company is to be knowledgeable about the market, reaching out in kindness to build our business through friendship, celebration, and service. So the result of that has been a 98% referral business for the last four years. And so our story happens. I got a card in the mail from somebody I did not know. This is the actual image of the card. And I remember the day that I, I got it out of my mailbox at the office. I went back to and sat down, and I was stunned when I opened it, and I saw our business card on the front. Nothing beats a great referral. You know, that was 2007. You know, business was not extremely, I mean, it was kind of tough back then, and, you know, nothing would beat a great referral. So I called the guy that sent this that very moment I opened the card. I said, how did you do this? We met for coffee. I sent a card to my husband, Steve. We talked for a couple hours about how this business, how send out cards would be 
like prime for any business owner. So uh, I went home and researched. I didn't sign up on the spot, but I did in in researching what it was all about, the customer options, the distributor options, we chose to become distributors because we knew that this was gold and that it would other people would want to use it both personally and professionally. Over the last seven, eight and a half years, we've sent over 20,000 cards, added over 5,000 people to our contact manager. So, you wow. know, let's take a look at, um, we started in 07, 35% referral. We all know what the market did from 2008 through 2011. It was kind of tough. but it was a little tough, right? Right, Nick? <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. But our business, it steadily increased over time because, you know, we were using our system, we were reaching out in kindness, we were remembering people on their birthdays, following up after open houses. And, um, you know, our marketing really basically consisted of, we joined a networking group called BNI, Business Network International, and we have send out cards. Um, so we opened up our own brokerage in 2012, which was pretty exciting, a little scary, but at a 98% referral business, you know, what else do you have to do? So uh, we opened up Network Team Homes Realty. We have one additional agent, Kim, and we have two more agents actually not joining within 30 days, but um, within the next week and adding some more agents. And all our agents use send out cards and they believe in it and, and trust the process. So. If you want to know statistics, um, we closed 40 transactions in 2014, 39 were, the, were a referral. One was a sign call. They called on a listing, and we ended up selling them our listing. So um, wow. in 2015, we put 43 homes under contract. Mm -hmm. uh, 15 of those went under contract November 1st to December 15th. So not only did that give us a great end of the year but a really super successful beginning for this year um, having eight pending sales ready to close so we got a few closings ne next week and the week after and you know we're off to a really great start for 2016 and you know our marketing expenses are really just the cards and gifts our BNI and our website uh, and I put the little caveat in there. We, you know, we actually make more money than we spend because of the affiliation we have with Send Out Cards. Nice. Now, I just want to mention one thing. You said it's great for remembering birthdays and anniversaries and so on and so forth. Tristan, you don't remember anything, so this would be like... <laughs> I don't remember your name. Hold on, hold on. What's your name? <laughs> Hey, guess what? If you put him in the contact manager and put first name, it'll pull his first name every time, and you're a winner. That's <laughs> awesome. You can remember people's names, too. Uh, so the benefits. You know, it's cards and gifts. There's a, there's a card and gift platform. The contact manager is all I've ever used, really, um, and I'm, I love it. Creating groups, card history. Um, personal handwriting font and signatures and I know that's big for people you know and I'm not gonna sit here today and tell all those people out there handwriting notes that you know you're wrong or it's bad if it works for you then you know keep doing what works for you this is just something that is um, you know, whatever you make of it. Maybe you maybe you're gonna it's use different. you, you different. just pick, you can pick two things out of this you know, I, the next slide shows 14 ways realtors can use it. You're going to love campaign features, uh, the anniversary and birthday reminders make you be a rock star, the app for your iPhone or the Android. You're, I mean, everybody's got to have that. I just be downloaded that two days ago. I thought that was pretty amazing. Yeah. I mean, literally, you can send a card from the palm of your hand in less than two minutes. Tristan, you were at that rock star private jet thing last night. You could have taken pictures and sent cards to those people while you were still there. Yeah, just <laughs> Thank you. Oh, so, um, and the cost. You know, I'm going to talk to you about the cost, but a dollar forty-two includes the postage for a card that, that big card, Nick, six bucks for that, including postage. Oh, awesome. So, nice. and, I had another house anniversary today from a uh, client. I could have sent this out, but yeah. well, we didn't have send-out cards yet. 
you're learning. You're, you've right. only just begun. <laughs> uh, and the, don't learn grasshopper. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So look at all the ways, 15 ways. This is, and this is specific just for realtors. I mean, it's important. If you get a referral, do, is it not important to say thank you? Yes. Totally yeah. All right. That's so Michael Mayer talks about this all the time. Oh, you just had a thing with Michael Mayer. Yeah. And so if you if you send brownies, now you guys have had the opportunity to taste the brownies. Do you think those would go over well with a referral partner? I just ate them all, so I don't know. You're on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to talk you, about Gail, multiple. Yes. Do you know if they're coming out with a new thing where you can send out salad instead by any chance? <laughs> Um, well, you can send out chicken noodle soup and rolls if someone What? Sick. No way. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Salad. Love it. Oh, no salad. That might get kind of stale. You can send roses, too, guys, to your wives. Send roses. That's awesome. oh, uh, okay, so multiple card campaigns. I'll talk about that. Birthday cards to all the household members. Not just, you know, the parents, but, you know, put the kids in there, too, and send them cards and gifts. Listing appointment follow-up with the app on your phone. You can walk out the door, take a picture of the house, take a picture of their little dog while you're there, put that <laughs> on the inside of the card and say how nice it was to meet them, add a two-pack of brownies, and before you even go back to the office, the card is done. There you go. It's awesome. Um, open house follow-up. By many the way, that's a great example to set to show your creativity because that will go seeing the property. Wow, look how creative this guy has sent me this this awesome card. You know, if he if he if he lists if he sells houses like this, we gotta hire him. <laughs> right. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I, so true. so we had a lot of fun watching was is it Terry Wagner that did the, the open house um, yeah. video yesterday? Yeah. Okay. It was brilliant. Now he probably stands out, you know when people come visit him at his open houses, but let's say you have people come and they've gone to seven open houses and how are they going to remember which one you met them at if you just send a handwritten note with a stamp on it? Why not put a picture of the house on the front of the card, a picture of you on the inside of the card, letting them know how much how it, nice it was to meet them at that house and let them know that you're available to help with all, all their needs. Tristan, Tristan, somebody just met, commented on the thread for the for the webinar and said you can send them a gift card with this with the card and they can go buy a salad. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, here, go buy a salad. Um, farming neighborhoods, you know, a lot of people farm, door knock, great way, and we'll go into that. Holiday cards. For sale by owner marketing, I've got some strategies for that and for expireds. The Android app, uh, iPhone app, memorable nice to meet cards, closing gifts, and we're not going to talk really about the photo store today, but we just sent a metal print with a picture of the house that the gentleman had, he, he built, he passed away last year and his, his widow had to sell the home. So we did something a little special and put the picture of the house and we asked for pictures of the family that we were also in, able to put on this keepsake and, and had it sent to them and got a really nice text message, you know, very touched. So, so Gail, I have a question. Yes. You, uh, on your previous screen, out of those 15 things that, that you wrote down, which one do you use most and that you see you've got the most business out of? Um, the, the, the app. I use the app to just go through Facebook and grab pictures of past clients and send them and it, we stay top of mind. So the lifestyle celebration cards, mm -hmm. farming, I've got some great examples of farming, um, and then our top 100, which I'm going to share. If you, don't, if you don't have identified your top 50 or your top 100, um, well, it's a really great place to start. Let me see if I can show you guys this. So, like, that was a good question that you had, Tristan, because, I mean, clearly you can use it for anything. Gail, um, Gail, 
took a picture of my son off of Facebook. It was one that I posted the other day of him making snow angels. And if I can show you guys, she just sent me a text. So this is this was the picture that she sent. Um, wow. And then and then uh, she wrote this. Levi, may you always spread your wings and fly. I thought that was so cool. That's so sweet. My wife's like, <laughs> so funny that it came today, right when you're doing this webinar. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so you know, and what I want to point out to everybody is, you know, you pick one or two things, or or maybe four that you can implement and utilize in your business, and you know, take you know, just as an added implement to what you're already doing. You know, and, Gail, as as you're talking, I'm trying to think of more ways to implement this. I'm sure there's a lot more ways, but. I was thinking it's always difficult for, for me to get everyone to give me a review on Zillow or, mm -hmm. or somewhere else. And maybe we send them a card and, and show them, hey, thank you, with a, maybe a few brownies or a, a Starbucks card and say, hey, just give me a review. They may This may have help. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, when did... brownie might that brownie might turn what it would have been a negative <laughs> review into. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, and you know, when you give a gift, people feel obligated to give something back, so that's a really great idea. Yeah. So send out cards. There's over twenty thousand pre-designed cards in the card catalog, and you could you have unlimited opportunities, as you'll see here. To, to custom create your own cards. The gifts, brownies, I like the card size gifts because you can, you know, if someone, you know, they just bought their dream home and you send a card and then you just put a little dreams key in there, it's just a little token of something special um, that as a keepsake. Uh, well, one you of, something. You sent me a key, right, Gail? I think. Success, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to go get <laughs> But, you know, the theme, you know, Valentine's is coming up, so I just saw this little love box. I'm actually in Houston with the founder of Send Out Cards, Cody Bateman, and we are going to have a really dynamic Promptings Academy tomorrow here in Houston. But they have some gifts that are set up. He also sent me this car, this key that I put on my keychain from Send Out Cards, and it says success on it. So, cool. so am I top of mind with you, Nick? Totally. Have we ever met? I mean, I think we've spoken on the phone twice. And you're uh, carrying... I don't think we've ever spoken on the phone, actually. I think we've just been through this. <laughs> yeah, true. So yeah. Th this is the power of you know, what this system can do while you're sitting at home. So let's take a look at what the insides look like. Um, contact manager. Uh, you can see I have over 5,000 contacts now in my contact manager. How many does it... Fit. Do you know, Gail? Can we have like a hundred thousand, or is there a limit up to like ten thousand? I don't think there's a limit. Okay. I've never reached the limit. I've never known anybody to reach the limit. So let's push it, okay? All right. <laughs> All right. Um, creating groups. So this is important. I've I've talked about campaign cards. So when I, and I'm going to show you my favorite group is my top 100, and those are the people who know me. And I, when I say me, I, I mean us, you know, my husband and I. They know us, like us, trust us, and they're just, they love to do, you know, give business to us. So we send cards four to six times a year. Um, your personal signatures. So as you can see, I'm a mom. I have three grown married children. I have nine grandchildren. So I need grandma and papa in there for a signature. And then we have just our first names and our names together. So, um, and all you do is choose whatever signature ma matches the card you're sending. And my favorite, okay, so I have to go back. This is eight and a half years ago. I go to an open house. I come home. I come back to the office. I write my thank you, nice to meet you card. I go down to the copy machine, I put the thank you note on the copy machine and I put it in a three ring binder because I wanted to remember who I spoke with and who I sent a card to and what did it say. Well, as you can see over here on the right of the screen, the action log, 
these are this is my friend Scott and Scott is in our top 100 so you can see it's dated cards these are the cards I've sent to him over the last few years and that little view at the at the edge I can click on the view and I can view every card I've ever sent to anybody as the image to see what I said and who I you know what pictures wow. I added and so, that yeah. is a powerful tool because how many times have you written a note and you sent it or maybe you thought you sent it but you weren't sure and then you meant to send it and you didn't well, this happens keeps, to me every day. So That's awesome. this will keep track of that for you. So question, Gail, when you're sending out to your top 100, you, you're telling me you send out four to six times a year. Mm -hmm. What do you send to them during those four to six times? Does it differ or is it always the same gift, like a brownie or is it a... No, it's, it's different. Okay, so the, the card that Nick held up um, with all of our sold houses... Mm -hmm. Well, half of them, because it would be a little overbearing to put 32 houses in a card. But we <clears throat> we just sent that card, and people started getting them two days ago. And I received three text messages today from those top 100, and there's actually 134 people that received that card. And they're saying, wow, thank you for the card. It is so amazing what you did with for Toys for Tots and giving back the giving the bikes away and stuff. And so this this will go on and I'm sure over the course of the next week or so, people will start to call and inquire about, you know, hey, my friend's looking to sell or, you know, I told them to call you, they're looking to buy this year. And that's really how we build our business, you know, just by keeping in touch. Nice. I think so, it's a great card. So custom branding. This just came out with send out cards within the last, I don't know, six to eight months. And this is powerful because you can send a birthday card now. You don't put your don't put your business card inside a birthday card, right? It's about the person, it's about the birthday. But there's nothing wrong with having your brand on the back of the card. So whatever you choose, you can have up to 10 different, you know, custom templates for the back of the card, and you choose which one you want to have on there, depending on what type of card you're sending. So this, this one down here, this happened to be on the back of the card that went out. Actually, that same card, Nick and Tristan, went to our farm of 90 homes, um, just this last week as well. So it's a way for us to, you know, kind of brand our company and what we're doing on the back of the cards. So right. this Love is it. a really cool feature. Um, the anniversary reminders. So I have about 80 to 90 birthday cards I send every month. And I've created five campaigns, couple for men, couple for women, and then some for children. But look at the card up at the top left where it says first name, first name, first name, first name, first name. And yeah. then right next to it, it says Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. Well, this is yeah. so cool because no matter who I send this card to, their first name is going to be all over the card. So it's really a personal card that they're going to get when they, when they open their birthday card to them, you know, and it's like their name's all over it. And... Funny story is my, my stepmom, I sent it to her, and her name was all over the front. She goes, how did you ever find a car that had my name on the front of it? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, birthday cards are important. That's a, you know, it's kind of one of those cards um, that's expected. You know, people kind of expect to get a card on their birthday. And when you do get, when you do send one, um, it really can make a, a powerful impact. So... You know, Everybody, Gail, go ahead. That's a really good point that you make because I was talking to my nine-year-old and just the other day, and she asked me, "Daddy, why don't I ever get anything in the mail? What can I write a letter to somebody or or something?" And nowadays, most well, in the last few years at least, we're all so caught up with our iPhones and computers that we haven't really mailed as much, and I feel that that's coming back quite a bit because the younger generation is really missing that. Mm -hmm. and they really appreciate when they get something in the mail. Well, you know what I think they're doing? I mean, it's stuff like send-out cards where 
where they're able to do it through technology, and I think that that's bringing back the the specialness of, of the actual letter, you know? Yeah, I agree. And, Gail, now, with these birthday and anniversary reminders... Why don't you send your kid a card? Come on. I'm going to. <laughs> I thought... You said that, I thought, you know what, I'm going to do that next time for her no, birthday. No, dude, next time, next time you say, listen, I think there's a card coming for you in a few days anyway. Like, just come on. And I'll post it on Facebook, too. <laughs> Thank hey, you. No, uh, Gail, question. For the birthday and anniversary reminders, is it something that that's done automatically where these cards are just all lined up for you to just press send or is it something that I have to go into and actually read and create well I'm glad you asked that because I've created some birthday campaigns that I'm I'm willing to share with our listening audience whether they're you know already send out cards users or they sign up today to use this system so mm -hmm. the first name card is going to be one that's there that we can share. I, I did change the date to 2016. So, but these are all. There's five cards that you can customize yourself. And then here's how it happens. You, I can pull up my calendar, and I, let's say I've got 60 birthdays in the month of February. I can go down the list and I can check John, Joe, Dave. Sam, all the men, and I'm going to send them the campaign card for the men. One touch, sending this campaign will cost so many points, so much expense, done. I've just sent 30 cards with the touch of a button. You can do this for the whole year. So you can send out a whole year's worth of cards, and, and as long as they're scheduled to go out on the birthday, they'll be held in queue until a week before the birthday and then they're going to be sent out. You can set up you can set up the schedule for the cards to go out. Yes. Yes. Nice. Okay, great. So, birthdays are important. We have a client closed 7 years ago. Kent and Jane uh, sold a really nice house and so we kept in touch just last year, they referred us to two of their friends, Roger and Elizabeth, sold a $400,000 property. Um, Ken and Janine moved to North Carolina to get out of the winter, sold their $520,000 lake home. We made $30,000 in commission income, and it cost us about 20 bucks over the last seven years to send birthday cards to Kent and Jane. So Amazing. It's um, it's a proven fact that if you remember people, they will remember you. Gail, I'm missing this from my business, so thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So many oh, people God. are. So many people are. So, okay, raise your hand, all you listeners out there, if you're a busy agent and you mean to stay in touch uh, and, and you don't. <laughs> well, send out cards makes it easy. So I love... I have a buyer and seller campaign that we close on the house. I implement this campaign. And the first card goes out with a four pack of brownies and a thank you. And mine's a little different because we, we do the bike thing. So we, we have a specially designed card for us that goes out that says, because of your trust and faith in us, we have donated a bike to Toys for Tots this year in your honor. Thank you for your business. And it also goes with a four pack of brownies. Then there's a keep in touch card that's scheduled to go out. So I don't care if you close in November or if you close March 1st. There's a keep in touch card that goes out May 5th. It's the tulip card and it says, just wanted to touch base, let you know we were thinking about you. Would love to get together for a cup of coffee or lunch sometime. Give us a call when you get this. So it's prompting them to give you a call and stay in touch. Maybe they will, maybe they won't, but you've sent a card and you've dropped that in their ear. Now, Gail, do you have a call to action for all the cards that you send, or do you sometimes leave one out on purpose, or how does that work? I think well, the, call, the card itself is a call to action, really. Well... My, uh, the philosophy that I've been taught and that I teach others is the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of the time it's about the relationship, 20% of the time it's marketing. And you'll notice, we, I've got five cards here. The welcome home, you know, thank you for business is relationship. 
the mm -hmm. keep in touch, it's relationship, give me a call, love to catch up. The holiday card that goes out in December, it's relationship, just wishing you a happy holidays. Happy anniversary goes out with a two pack of brownies on the anniversary date of their home. It's just celebrating that, you know, we appreciate and hope they've had a great year in their new home. <clears throat> then we get to the Valentine card and it says, won't you be my referral partner? <laughs> so, we're, so we're coming into the spring market. If you hear of your friends looking to buy or sell, please have them give us a call. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, oh you know what would be a good title for that one? Let me be a matchmaker. That would be a good one. <laughs> See? And, and this. Friends and family who want to buy, sell, and invest in real estate. Boom, baby. I'm writing that down. <laughs> I'll take, that's my line. <laughs> I'm still writing it down. Write it down so I don't forget it. All right. I'm I, by Nick Baldwin right now. Hold on. <laughs> okay. So I put the pricing in here. So if you're a, a customer that is on a $31 a month subscription, and I'll show, share with you later how you can get to be there, this total campaign, five cards, goes out with a four pack of brownies and a two pack of brownies is twenty six dollars and fifty two cents. Wow! If you're if you want to be cheap, my six pack into a keg. <laughs> if you want to be cheap, it's six dollars and sixty one cents, and don't send them any brownies. So, so um, if the subscription, the thirty one dollar subscription a month, right? So how many how many mailings does that give you? Well, we'll talk about that in a minute because I don't want to. I don't want to confuse people. So. Come on, Nick! Oh my God! Oh my God. <laughs> All right. So Great. same thing. This is a you know this is seller campaign. A little different. A lot of our sellers, you know, in Michigan, they they're tired of winter and they move somewhere warm. So I'm not going to usually send them a picture of their house on the car, but a thank you for your business card goes a long way. And you can decorate it up inside with whatever you want. Maybe you take their picture at closing and put a picture at the closing table. Um, I love, I love the little boy sliding into the base. It's that's the keep in touch card. Hey, just wanted to touch base, see how things are going. Would love to get together sometime. Okay, farming. Um, I st we started farming our neighborhood in 2013. But shortly after hey, we all, you need something? I just want to say I don't. I ate the brownies, but I actually have. <laughs> I thought I might have might have had a brownie, but I don't. But Marguerite Crespillo sent me these gummy gum these gumballs from. Okay, my, you got smiley gumballs. Yeah. Yeah. After we did her podcast, that was kind of nice of her. I just wanted to let people know you can do that too. Yeah, there's hundreds of gifts. They're awesome. Hey, Gail, I have a question. Okay. I, we have somebody. We have uh, on Facebook. We have Paul Indrigo or Indrigo. He wants to know what kind of brownies are we talking about? Chocolate here? ones. Well, they have. They do have blonde brownies and they have peppermint brownies. But my favorite are just the regular chewy, double chocolate rich, yummy brownies. Is that oh, what you sent me? Yummy yes. Brownies. So dangerously good. Yes. Yeah. Send out brownies. That's a whole other business. That's a whole other business. So we have a lot of people that farm. I, you know, they go out door knocking and they're looking to cultivate relationships with people they don't know. And so we started to farm in 2013. Um, our neighborhood has 90 people. That middle card that you're looking at, every year they put a. a a big sign at the entrance of our neighborhood with the kids who are graduating from high school. And so I usually will create a fun card just for them and you know put a five dollar Starbucks card in there and send it to them to their home. And and this one kind of showcases it's right around Father's Day. So I we always add some market statistics, you know, just do some jing shots and put those in your card. So people can be, you know, see how knowledgeable you are about the market, and maybe they'll spark questions. 
Um, and then, you know, we went out door knocking last year. April 4th was Easter, and it was my birthday, and I got to pick what we wanted to do. So I invited my my daughter, Andrea, her husband, Nico, their three kids, my niece, and Steve and I, we went out and handed out Easter baskets to our neighbors. And oh. I, took, I took pictures as we were out walking around. There's my grandson, Cohen. He was up putting, you know, they had fun meeting people and putting candy at the door. Uh, and so send out cards is a great, this was a great way to follow up by you know using the pictures and it said hey we got to meet many of you um, some of you found little candy boxes at your door this is what it was for you know kind of letting them know what we were out doing and just to say hello I love it you know while you're doing this farming thing I was talking to oh, my coach Dove uh, Nick you know Dove yeah I know and Dove he was telling me that for the expireds that I really want to target and that I can't get into because they're gated or or other reasons. Mm -hmm. To yeah, after I talk to them, yes, yeah, I can get that. To send them out a card with brownies saying something along the lines of, "Hey, making let's make your next uh, the sale of your home sweeter and send out brownies or something." <laughs> Isn't that the Buffini method? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but it's a, it's a little bit different for expired, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to try that. He just told me this, too, so it goes perfectly with this. Mm -hmm. I you, send him an ice cream, you send him an ice cream scoop, and you say, let me give you the real estate scoop. <laughs> yeah, and by the time it gets there, it melts. I love it. <laughs> hey, gift card. Send him a gift card. Go buy ice cream. Put Let's a picture try. of an ice cream cone in there. <laughs> Are you eating an ice cream cone? Hey, you know, it's... I think that would be bad. Hey, look what I'm eating. <laughs> it's sweet. So I came back to this slide because I, I wrote down some statistics. So cost-wise, farming my neighborhood, four cards a year, the average cost, so it cost $127.80 for me to send 90 cards to my neighbors. If I do this four times a year, it's $511.00. And That's so over the, over the last three years, I've spent $1,550 farming my neighborhood. But you want to know what the results are. Wait, how much did you spend? $1,500. $1,500 in one year for farming? No, no, in three years. Three years, $1,500, okay. So you want, to know what the, you want to know what the return of the investment is? Yes. Okay. So Art and Pat live in our neighborhood, and they called us and said, hey, Gail and Steve, we want to buy a lake house, and there you go. Our, our budget's about four hundred thousand. And then when we when we buy when we find our lake house, then you know we'll sell our house, and I, I we figure it's right around two hundred thirty thousand. But go. it didn't it didn't stop there because they referred us to their best friends who we listed their home in a little a smaller town just south of us for six hundred eighty five thousand dollars. So. If you want to do quick math, it's it's about thirty nine thousand dollars in commission income. You spent fifteen hundred bucks and you made thirty nine grand. Not bad. And all. that's just that's just reaching one person. You know, we have some work to do in our neighborhood. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, Gail. If you're farming your neighborhood, you know what would be a good campaign to get people to know who you mm. are. You know, get to warm up well, to them. Good question. Okay, so the the card on the left was the first one I sent. It was just so, and I, I can't read it because it's really small, but it said, you know, dear neighbors, this is who we are. It was just an introductory letter. It, it gave um, our experience in the market. It talked about our family. You know, we have three grown married children, nine grandchildren. Um, and we opened up our own company, uh, Network Team Homes Realty. We're really excited to service our community. Let us know if you have any questions um, about real estate. So it was more of a, a friendly introductory card with pictures, you know, from a closing, and then pictures of Steve and I, you know, in a little more professional setup. So that's the first one that went out, and you know. Okay. We've sent April Fool's cards. We've sent, um, oh gosh, just I can't, I can't. 
I can't think I'm, I'm put on the spot. You know, graduation, every year is a graduation card because it's personal. It, it, it has pictures of the neighborhood. And, and, you know, I picked out a house this year that it was decorated really pretty for Christmas. And I just took a picture and I sent it to the homeowner because I have her address and her name. And, I, you know, I, I don't know her personally, but it was I had just had a prompting to to send that card and I don't know maybe next year she'll be like wow I want to call that girl because she made me feel good <laughs> so yeah. you know yeah. it's it's really just you know showing your knowledge without being smart alecky you know or salesy or you know being being personable I have a friend Scott Hudspeth that uh, and he always said you know be a real person they want to know that you're a real person so, you know, show your family, put pictures. That's the beauty of send out cards is they can get to know who you are professionally and personally in a way that they would feel comfortable, I hope, calling us. So that's why I add pictures of our family in there. Hmm. Great. In, essence, in essence, you're saying that send out cards is like social media. It is, huh. but but it's in well, it's in print form. Don't send a card every time you're eating, you know, Captain Crunch. Nobody can remember that. <laughs> no, I'm gonna be licking an ice cream and be like, mmm, mmm. I just have it. I just licked an ice cream cone. <laughs> your local realtor. <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. You're hired, Nick. Hired. Tristan, Tristan, there'd be like 37 cards a day that went out if you updated like you do your Facebook. No, dude, I don't know if this is cost effective for me, Gail. <laughs> no, oh, it will be. It will be. I promise you. Uh, Remember what I said. I've made a whole lot more money than I've spent. I so. know. It's pretty amazing. Okay, so client events. We we do two client events a year. This is a great way to co-brand, co-market with your title company, with your lender. Um, we have Pumpkin Fest every year in October, and we partner with um, a daycare center, our lender, and our title company. So. You know, the $1,500 it costs to put on this event that the kids love and our clients love is split four ways. It makes it very affordable. And we've just got some rock star invitations that we, all I have to do each year now is just change the date um, on these invitations and they're ready to go out for the next year. So it's the same invitation, you just change the date. Cool. Yep. And the information. Um, we. Last year we did a bus trip to the Detroit Tigers baseball game and took, you know, 40 of our closest friends and clients. And That's cool. We had a blast. So we're going to do that again this year. And I, I send out the invitation and it invites everybody. So, you know, we're inviting 134 people, but it's the first come first serve basis. You know, we only have 44 seats on this bus. And so, you know, we're going to do that again this year. It's all about, you know, building the relationship, taking it deeper. Um, and that's why the top 100 is really important for Steve and I. And if, if you just start with 50, you know, who are the 50 people in your life who know you, like you, trust you, want to do business with you, are, are comfortable referring their friends? Take those people and use the five communication ways, calling them, texting them, face-to-face, -face, social media, send cards, you know, connect with them on an ongoing top-of-mind basis so that they want to refer people to you. I would rather, you know, and, and I, I have it broken down. I know exactly last year 12 transactions came from our uh, B&I group. Nine came from our uh, sphere of influence. No, nine came from past clients and referrals from ca past clients. And then I forget, I have them somewhere. But the, the rest of them came from our sphere of influence. And that's, that's how business comes into us. Last week we received nine referrals. I had to start writing them down because Steve goes, Oh, I got another text from so and so. And, you know, they want to <laughs> list their house this year and they, they want to downsize and buy. That's their agent. Yeah, so I, I mean, it's a lot more fun to sit and wait for your phone to ring than to always be prospecting heavily. Um, this is my favorite slide, and I'll tell you why. Is because lifestyle. You asked me earlier, Tristan, what was the way I used to send out cards the most? 
and um, it's with my app. I'm sitting, you know, Steve and I are watching a movie. I'm, you know, thumbing through social media. Look at Nick's son. I love the, the snow angel. Because I have Nick in my contact manager, it literally took me less than two minutes to send that card to Levi. It took me longer to text Nick to say, hey, what's your son's name? <laughs> because I wanted to make the card personal. Um, but being able to save a photo from Facebook to your phone and then you know turn it into a card with a gift. The card that you see on the left is um, Kevin and Wendy that we they bought a brand new house four years ago and it was like two weeks before Christmas um, I saw this picture on her Facebook page and it was her pro it was her banner picture so I saved it I saved her profile picture which was her and Kevin and I sent this card and it just said just wishing you a Merry Christmas um, love watching your family grow on <laughs> Facebook and you know they're they're huge uh, Michigan State Spartan fans so I did the writing in green I said we're, we're rooting for a Michigan State win on New Year's Eve and you know hope to see you in the new year well three weeks later I get a really nice text uh, message on Facebook private message that said Gail thank you so much for the card we've been thinking about downsizing or right sizing we want to have more kids and will you and Steve come over and share what our options are and you know seriously if I had not sent that card I don't know if they would have I would have been top of mind really good point. you made a really good point there with Facebook I mean it's like everyone's business right in front of your face so there's never been an easier way to congratulate people on having a baby, getting married, getting engaged, you know, all the stuff that leads to, hey, Tristan, remember we went to Google? These were the, um, not the micro moments, the, the, the moment of truth, right? Yeah. So, exactly. so, like, people get engaged, get married, and have a baby. Those are the three times where they're most likely to decide to buy a house when their family is growing or when they're going into another chapter of their life. So if you get right in front of them with one of these as soon as possible, you're going to be the first person they call. I think that's amazing advice. Yeah, all, all of these represent past clients. So the little boy holding up the, you know, wearing the I'm a big brother, well, that was their announcement to the world that they were having another baby. So I sent that card to them. Um, the couple below, that's Lisa. Lisa is a um, past client of mine and she got a promotion to sit on the board of her network marketing company. So I sent her um, a success key and a card commemorating, you know, congratulating her because, you know, she'll probably be making a lot of money and she'll need to buy a different house. So I want her to think of me. <laughs> and then Field and Stream. Um, these are some really close friends of ours, Aaron and Elise. We sold them their house, their dream is to be out in the country. Aaron just got a job managing the brand new field and stream in Kalamazoo and so I sent the dreams key along with this card and I got a really nice response back. I said hey it's I can't wait till we can go out and find that property where you can ride all, your, all the toys you're gonna buy working at field and stream. <laughs> so <laughs> you know nice. It's just um, it's su it's such a super way you know five minutes like I said increase sales and profits in five minutes a day from an app on your phone. Amazing. So, um, I'm going to share this strategy. I've also got these cards I can share. I really don't prospect for sale by owners or expireds. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. We're done, Gail. <laughs> what? what? Who is this woman? <laughs> well, I have a 98% referral business. I know, I'm joking. <laughs> By the way, like, you know, snow here in New Jersey this weekend. I know what I'm doing. I'm doing yeah. send out cards all weekend. Okay. I you're skiing this weekend. What? <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. You, were, you don't want to see me on skis, trust me. Okay. Well, I will share these cards to people who want them just for the verbiage, but seriously, you drive by a for sale by owner and you take a picture of the house. And you put on the inside, you know, I know you're trying to sell your home yourself. If, if you should decide to choose a realtor, I would, like to the, con, I would like you to consider the services I offer. Our marketing strategy is geared toward getting your home sold in a short amount of time with the maximum price. 
give us a call. You add a two or a four pack of brownies. You know. The brownies do it every time. Yeah. They did then, it for me. And then you've got, you know, the the same kind of verbiage for, you know, an expired listing. Um, I just think that, you know, it, it just shows differences in, in ways to market and it's very cost effective. Totally. So ways to get started. You can Here. join as um, a one-time fee as a marketing distributor. Now there's probably a lot of people that are watching this going, well, I don't want another business. I don't want a job. Um, send out cards sells itself. I mean, I I didn't sign up to have another job back eight and a half years ago when I chose to become a marketing distributor. I just knew that this was a special program and you know, Cody Bateman has made it available for us to earn an income for other people that we share this with. So if you think you know of a few people that could use this in their business or in their personal life, why not invest in, you know, having a, a opportunity to make some additional income. So exactly. that's that's how you would join as a marketing distributor. If you don't want to make any money at all and you have no desire to do so, then I'm going to recommend What do you suggest that, for people that want to make no money at all and have no desire to do that? What do you suggest for them? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I suggest that, okay. well, no, I, really. Uh, so, Gail, this is a family-friendly <laughs> webinar. I know, I know. And you know what? I, I am just so blessed with, you know, the business that we have and, you know, this company has been extremely instrumental in helping us to get to where we are today and it's all about the relationships. So, you know, you get the silver and gold. Everybody needs the, the custom brand manager. You need to be able to brand the back of your card. Yes. It, you know, you're in marketing. You need to market yourself in an effective way. So that's the silver package. The silver or the gold. It, you know, if you're going to jump out of the gate and, you know, you've got, you know, maybe 3,000 contacts that you need to import in and you're going to start sending cards, the gold package has got the sock memory vault, which has a little bit more memory, you know, to it. And, you know, we can get into more specifics later. But, you know, the silver package has your handwriting font and signatures, and your 200 bonus points and the ability to buy your points at 31 cents. So if you don't want to have any packages, you can do the monthly $39 a month, but you're kind of cheating yourself with not being able to really utilize the system the way it can be used for realtors, loan officers. So with the $39 a month, you cannot, you cannot brand the back of your card? That's correct. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yep. So what would be so, the difference? what's the real difference then between silver and gold? So um, I'm having a, a little difficulty understanding the point system. Okay. So, so the point system is the brown. So the brown. Let's take the brownies. It's, okay. It's ten points for a two pack of brownies. Oh, gotcha. So you you buy points for thirty nine dollars a month. You're going to buy a hundred points. If you purchase the silver package for, you know, thirty-one dollars a month, you're going to get a hundred points. It takes three points to send a card, fifteen points to send that big card that you showed at the beginning, uh, four points for the three-panel card, and then you know. So as you send a card and a gift, you're going to decrease the points in your system. And then you also have an account, it's called your expense account, where you will have, um, you put 20 bucks in there and every time you send a card, 49 cents comes out for the stamp. So mm -hmm. it's like going to the post office and, you know, buying a roll of stamps, you just put it in your expense and then as you send cards and gifts, money comes out of that expense column. So question here, in regards to the gold package, it says... S O C, memory vault. It's the memory. It's the memory vault. So 
the memory vault is, you know, you, you get the basic storage with um, the $39 a month, which would be enough for, you know, 250 saved cards, 500 photos, 50 campaigns, and 1,500 contacts. So with the SOC memory vault, you get pretty much unlimited storage for cards, campaigns, pictures, things like that. Okay, so Love it. Like, you've got eight years worth of stuff in there, right? I do. I have, uh, yeah, I have 20,000 cards. You know, that's a lot of memory. <laughs> <That's> crazy. <laughs> that's a lot of memory. So, you know, and, you know, the marketing distributor package at, at 395 you know, if you share it with people, and we can get more into detail about that, but if, if you have three people that, you know, want to join as a customer or a silver customer, gold customer, or distributor, you're going to make all your money back. So it's it's real easy to get this system working for you to pay you back, and that's why we chose to join as a distributor back when we did. Hey, I know that guy. So why why am I even here on your webinar today? Is it probably because I sent you a card? How did you get in, Gail? <laughs> How did you get in? Gail, who, uh, let, who, who let you into this webinar? Why don't you talk about this? Because you know, you guys, when I Not sent when I sent you this card and and this gift, you you obviously had a response. A reaction. Gail, here the first the first thing I thought about when I got this, I'm like, wait a second, who's Gail? I go, what did what did I do to get a brownie? I love brownies. Um, and I thought, okay, cool, send out cards. I remember seeing this send out card thing. Um, kind of interesting. And then Nick sent me a picture, and I'm like, dude, you got you got brownies too. And we're like, man, this is this sounds like a good idea. And then you hit us up through Facebook, and I thought, this is very unique. I don't know anybody like you, Gail, that's using send out cards or any cards to to fund all of their business, like ninety-eight percent of the business, this, at least not to this extent. Like, I know that there are some agents here there that dabble in it, but I mean, this is your business. Like, this is what this is how you get to ninety-eight percent referral. You know, I mean, it's kind of incredible. Um, I, I mean, I remember when I got it, I was like, this is so cool. I don't think think we were friends on Facebook, but you know, I just figured you were in the group because you sent us the picture. This was after Tristan and I did that. Podcast, and uh, not only was there brownies, but there was a Starbucks card. So you, you know, the weight of my heart is coffee and chocolate. So you did it. You even know me. Um, so then I reached out to you, and you're like, "Let's, you know, let's educate the group on how this built my business." And I'm like, "Yeah, let's do it." So that's kind of a long story short. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So. Anyway, that's that's really how this works, and I'm gonna. I have one more slide that I want to share. Um, you know, I remember you guys saying, "Well, what can we offer our listeners?" And you know, so I decided I would design five card buyer campaign, a five card seller campaign, five birthday campaign cards for sale by owner campaign, and an expired campaign. Of which anybody who has a send out cards account, you know, I could share this to them. So um, that's a that's my hard work putting into creating this so they can get started and learning how. So and then well, right, off the um, bat, well, right off the bat, we're gonna get a we're gonna get five campaigns. Yes, you're gonna get those. Mm-hmm. So cool. Yeah, and and if you purchase any of the three packages, the, either the marketing distributor, the gold, or the silver, then I personally will send you a copy, either a hardcover book promptings or the audio book. Um, promptings is the inner guide, your inner guide to making a difference. And you know, I've read Cody's book. I've been into I don't know, probably twelve or more of Cody's seminars when he teaches about you know finding out who you are giving yourself away your inner your outer promptings and how you act on those and it brings blessings into your life and so I would it would be my gift to anyone who chooses to sign up to 
um, I will send this to you um, so you can learn how those inner promptings and outer promptings work. So, um, so how do you people say how do I sign up? Well, if someone directed you to this webinar that is a send out cards distributor and they just wanted you to learn how to use the system, then get back with that person who shared send out cards with you. Um, but if you're if you're not attached, you know I've I partnered with Lab Code Agents because I it's my desire and my heart to and passion to teach realtors how to use the system to go out and blow their business open. And so you can go to sendoutcards.com forward slash Lab Code Agents and you can click the Join Now button. Choose the distributor or customer options. Um, if you need help, you can email me, realtor at networkteamhomes.com, or you can call or text me. I will tell you I'm in Houston for the Promptings Academy. Um, I will be tied up over the next um, day, at least tonight and tomorrow. But if you email me, I'll be happy to, or Facebook message me, I'll be happy to, you know, help you get started and on your way to a successful use of the send out card system. If you send Gail a text, she'll Great. respond. Anything else you want to add, Gail? Nick? Yeah, I was going to say, if you send Gail a text, she'll respond with a send out card. <laughs> I need addresses. <laughs> right. No, um, that's awesome. I don't have anything to add. I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of like itching to start using the system. I just feel kind of blessed to uh, have all these notes and, and to be able to talk to you, Gil. It's like having a coach to to work on my referral business, which I kind of suck at. So, you know, <laughs> thank you. Hey, I can help you out there. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think, like, I think it, it, it's, you've got it down to a science. I mean, that's what LabCoast is about, science of real estate. And you've got this down to a science and, you know, what the agents, I think, are going to have to try to do is really make it their own. I mean, you've really made it your own um, and you've nailed it. So I think just watching this webinar a couple times before you actually sit down and do it will, will, will definitely help. Awesome. Well, and I, you know, like I said, you're welcome, Tristan. It's been a, a real pleasure. I've been like dying to just share what's in my heart and what works for us to, with other people. Thanks for, so, thanks. With us. We're, we're, thanks for being patient with us. We know like the last couple of weeks we've been tough to set this up, but we appreciate the uh, the patience. You're welcome. You know. Awesome. Um, awesome. All right. I've got any more questions. Ouch. I think that was fantastic. I'm, I'm all pumped. Send oh. up our <laughs> round of applause, everybody. <laughs> Yeah. All right. All right. Oh, I'm going to stand up. All right.